good evening. I'm Benji, and I have to say hello, or from our next country where our story comes from is Oi! Can you guess what country, which country around the world do they say Oi besides Portugal? It's the largest country in South America. What is the largest country in South America? Brazil. Yes, Brazil. Where is Brazil? Oh my goodness. Where is Brazil? Oh, there it is. Wow, it's very big. <laughs> okay. Well, let us put Brazil off the globe here and let us put it on the hook right here. Where is Brazil. <laughs> yes. Well, Brazil. Well, let me share with you about Oi. There is a big story about Oi. You know, before Corona hit the world, there I was with all my friends from Itaewon. Itaewon, right here in South Korea. This was the, the crossroads for international meetings, the international melting pot for socialization. This was where our business was, where all foreigners get together. And let me tell you, there I was. And when we had the Brazilian entourage come into the bar, into the place, there they would see me and the guys. And they would be, I'll never forget, oh, they would always say, Ben, oi! And they would say, oi, oi! And there I was saying, oi, guys, oi! And all the Koreans around us would be oh, asking, why, why is everyone saying cucumbers? <laughs> because oi in Korean is what? Cucumbers, right? <laughs> yes, so that was my experience with oi. Well, today's story is about actually has uh, talking animals in the story. Now, personally, I have always been disturbed uh, with, with, with talking animals alongside human characters, right? I just always was disturbed a little bit. So today's story happens to have uh, talking animals. Are we ready for the story, guys? Yeah. All right, me too. Let's say the story. Yay, well... Once upon a time, there was a poor man who was very lonely. He, he had nothing to eat. And day after day, he was selling all his things to feed himself. All he had left one day was his cat. And he said to the cat, Oh, cat, I have nothing, but I will never part from you. You shall always be with me, O oh cat. And the cat said, Oh, bless you. And the cat would say this. He would say, Never mind about that. Leave it to me. For I shall go out and make us a fortune. Meow. And leaves. Well, see the cat went out to this place the cat went out to the jungle and the cat was able to dig some pieces of silver and he would bring the silver to the master and the master's name he the cat would say domingo master of domingo i have brought you silver to feed yourself and he would say oh cat Wow, thank you so much. Wow, wherever can you find these? Don't, he would say, again, the cat would say, never mind about it. Leave it to me. So day after day, the cat would go to the jungle, but the cat would also find gold. And soon he was finding silver. And he would take the silver, gold, and pieces of diamonds to the king who lived not very far away. And the king said, the king would say, my, who brings me such wonderful gifts? And the cat said, oh, great king, my master Domingo. Domingo, can you guys say Domingo? Domingo. Yeah, Domingo uh, has brought you this gift, oh, great king. And, and, the, and the great king said, wow, he must, this, this Domingo must be the richest man in my kingdom. I have a daughter 
Oh, I need to arrange a marriage between them. And the cat said, Oh, great king, I shall help you arrange it. So the cat goes back and tells the poor man the great news. And the poor man said, Oh, cat, but what do I have to wear? I have nothing to wear for such a wedding. And what did the cat say? The cat said, Never mind about that. Leave it to me. So the cat goes back to the king and said, Oh, great king, there was a tailor shop here. And in the tailor shop where they were making my master's clothes, there was a great big fire that burned down the tailor shop and burned down my my master's wedding wedding gown and the king said okay so the king gave gave the poor man he sent a rich a richly made wedding uh, royal dress for him to marry but then but then the cat goes back to the poor man and says you see poor man you see my master what we have done but then the poor man said but where should where shall i marry my new bride for i have no place to marry except this old wooden hut and the cat what did the cat say the cat said never mind about that leave it to me so the cat goes deeper into the into the jungle because the cat knew that there was a that there was a giant who lived in a great castle and the cat pleaded with the giant he said oh great giant my master needs a castle for his marriage to his new bride may you be so kind to lend us your castle but the giant was very insulted and said, what, what? I shall never part with my castle, you cat, leave me. But the cat only smiled and gave a twinkle of his eye and turned the giant into a slice of bacon and ate the bacon. <laughs> And there the cat goes back to the master. And the master said, I have great news, oh, Master Domingo. We have a place where you shall get married. And there the master went to get married to the bride. And there Domingo was with his new bride right here on the gondola with his new queen. And there as they rode past on this beautiful river near their castle. There they saw, here he was. Oh, cat, he was sitting on a windowsill singing and they never saw the cat again for the cat went back into the jungle never to be seen again. So everyone, the next time, everyone, the next time you see a cat, we say, what do you do? What happened to the cat, by the way? In Spanish, we say, quien sabe? But in Portuguese, quem sabe? So the next time you see a cat, please be kind, because you never can tell. I hope you enjoyed this uh, story for this evening. Tomorrow, we shall, I shall give you, I, will sh I shall present you another story with a different kind of talking animal that comes straight from my hometown in South Texas. Tomorrow's story will come from Benavides, Texas. All right. Well, I hope to see you tomorrow from a story coming from Benavides. I'll see you. Have a good evening. Blessing. Blessings. <laughs>